So for my first question, I'd like to ask Barry. Barry, as a young person, whether it was as a child, as a teenager, or, or in your college years, was there something that, that you can point to, something that you can recognize, maybe a significant event that you felt maybe you were a little bit different than some others and you were going to do some great things? I think I got told I was different than others by the <laughs> others, you know, all the way along. But, uh, I, you know, I think that for me, uh, what made you aspire to perhaps want to be in a leadership role? Uh, one, you mentioned my dad. I mean, you know, he pursued his career from a teacher to vice principal to principal to superintendent. He didn't stop chasing the career goal of saying, I want to further myself educationally, apply that to my career, and use to the full ex extent of my ability uh, to, you know, express my own personal views and, and experience into schools and, and, you know, further his career. And that sort of gave me an example of don't stop trying to be uh, better. Don't stop pursuing uh, higher positions within leadership of your chosen profession. So I think at the family level, I had my dad as a, a great role model. But the other part for me in growing up, is, as you know, I, I was very involved in athletics. Uh, and I think a lot of kids, you know, I wasn't good enough to, to play at the college level or play professionally. But you learn how to compete. You learn what it's like to be on a team. And sometimes in one sport, you might be the best in that sport and be the leader and then you switch sports and you're not the best at that, so you're just one of the teams. So you learn how to fit in organizationally. You learn how to f f fulfill your role in that team. And then there's a way to be a leader, whether you're the star of the team or whether you want in practice you make sure everybody's oriented the right way and doing the drills correctly. And uh, so I think athletics had a big role for me in, in both teaching me how to compete and compete in a way that everyone feels good about the competition, whether you win or lose. And, and compete in a way to say, you know, force yourself, challenge yourself to get better. And don't ever think that you're not going to get better. Um, and I think the combination of seeing, you know, my dad in his career and then obviously being an educator, he had a big influence on us uh, competing educationally, meaning be the best you can educationally. So I, I think those things, I know there's one event, it's just a series of events of saying, you know, how do you challenge yourself to get better? And, and uh, at any interest, I mean, I started playing music in those days. I still play in a band. Uh, you just are always saying, how do I improve at something in my life to get a little better? Biggest thing, a big thing you mentioned there was lifelong learning. It's we are never done learning. I'll, I will second that. I am in my 60s and I am not going to quit learning. I am not going to quit. Uh, good for you because if you quit, if you say I've learned everything, then, then you know, I, I don't know where you go from there. But uh, to me, every day I walk in this building, I learn something new about this agency, about mm. the industry, about... Um, the things that affect our industry that shapes my decisions going forward about what we're going to do as an agency or what I'm going to do in my role within this agency or this industry, which I, I look at it as, you know, I've always looked at it, whether I was in the private sector or now in the public sector, this is my industry. Um, and I want to be a leader in the industry. Now, I'm currently serving as secretary, but I felt at McCormick Taylor uh, as a vice president there that I could still be an influence and a leader in the industry. And uh, I look at our private and public partners in this industry as it's, it's one industry and within the industry a lot of leadership, uh, a lot of roles for people to take on responsibility. And for me, you learn from everybody involved and then you apply that going forward, just like you said. You okay. better not stop trying. Was there ever a time that you can remember where somebody might have just said, Barry, you're just, you're just full of yourself. You're not going to make it. I, I don't, you know, I don't know that I ever said I wanted to make anything for somebody to say, you're not going to make that. You know, I mean, I, I think uh, it, it wasn't as though I set out to be Secretary of Transportation or set out to be a Vice President. Uh, I think in a lot of ways, uh, leadership is something that if, you, if you're a good leader and you're working hard at, at trying to be a good leader, uh, for your organization, you get recognized with titles and responsibility. If you set out and say, I want to be X, you may not achieve that, and somebody might say you're not capable of doing it. If you simply go about your job and do it well and get involved in whatever it is you do for a living, whatever you might do out there, if you get involved in it and show people that you care about them, you care about the industry, eventually the titles and the positions will come. Um, and so I never really got told you you weren't going to achieve something because I'm not sure I ever told anybody I want to be secretary. I don't think yeah. I didn't know that I was going to be a secretary of transportation. It wasn't a goal for me. I never said I want to be a vice president. It just those things kind of happened. What I said 
to everyone I think that I was ever involved with was I, I want the industry and my role within the industry to continually get better. Well, you're on that topic. What happened when you were nominated, when you were invited? Was it, was it just how did that go? Was that sh well, stunning to you or uh, you know, it's, it was This wasn't the first time that I'd been asked whether I had an interest, but this time it was a little more serious. And uh, frankly, it was a, a previous secretary, Brad Mallory, who called me and uh, said, would you be interested? And after I said no about three or four times, uh, I mean, I liked my role at McCormick Taylor. I liked uh, that role. I liked the company. Um, I liked the organization. I liked the projects I was working on. They were challenging. I worked in multiple states, which is interesting. Uh, and as you said from my experience profile, I worked on different modes, different types of transportation, which I found very interesting. Uh, but when I, when I sat down and talked to Brad about his experience as secretary and, and the opportunity it presents and and thought about the opportunity to come in and, uh, and in essence have a leadership role for the entire industry, not just my firm. Um, eventually it seemed like the right thing to do. Yes. And then after I interviewed with Governor Corbett and we discussed what he wanted to achieve and um, found that we were on the same page, it, it became an easy decision. Okay, awesome.